Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf on that channel and welcome to the review we're going to be doing today on the JPX 923 Forge against the Shrixon ZX5 Mark II irons. Now these are both targeted towards a very, very similar type of golfer. They're both forged, they both have their own individual tech inside there and I'll kind of mull over the tech, I won't go into too much detail because I've got four reviews of these on my channel so when we're doing each and one, I'll have a card up on the screen. So you can have a look more in depth if you want to. Again, if you haven't got that, you can just go on my channel. Have a look at the listings below. Mainframe technology in the ZX5, effectively that means they're trying to move mass around the head, trying to make it more forgiving, also trying to lower the center of gravity as best as possible Possible, and you've got V-chassis in the JPX 923 Forged, again, kind of doing a very similar thing. 30 degrees for the JPX 923 Forged, and they've gone 31 for the ZX-5. So ZX-5 is one degree more lofted, although when I do the testing, I'll do forgiveness testing on both of these at the end of the video, but I'll try and match the lofts and match everything as best I can do, bear in mind. I am a human. So we're gonna do this one at a slower speed because again, these are targeted towards the handicapped golfer in the 80 something odd miles an hour as a general rule. Anyone who plays these irons anyway, you could be all different kinds of speeds, but let's try and please the masses and dial speed down a bit. Right, let's go get on a hole and let's go hit the, let's go hit the forge first. Simulator is now on. We are at Crosswater Golf Club, hole three. It's a par three of 157 yards. Now, at my normal 91, 92 miles an hour, this 30 degree seven iron would be good for a good mid to high 170 yard carry. So 157, I'm gonna have to dial it back a little bit. So apologies now if my uh, pattern of flights aren't as good as usual, because it's not as easy as people think to just dial down speed and keep everything the same. If you look at the differences actually between the 923 Forge and the ZX5 Mark II, in dimensions of looks, actually, the forge is slightly bigger. Top lines are, I would say, medium. They're not thin, they're not thick, they're medium. Again, this is in the bracket of golfer. This is the bridging golf club. Where you're going from a game improvement iron potentially to more of a player's iron, these bridge lovely. And then you've got sole thicknesses, which are again, medium, although it's a millimeter difference between this and the ZX-5, so next to no difference. But um, yeah, blade length's about a millimeter bigger as well. And um, offset down by the golf ball. You, you can't see it. There is apparently three millimeters, three 3.3 millimeters of offset down there. Not that you can really tell, but there you go. Right, let's go give this one a hit. Let's go see if I can um, dial speed down a little bit and also hit target. Slightly faster swing speed than I would like, and that was distinctly toey. Look at that. All right, <laughs> that's carrying a bit too far. 84.4 miles an hour, 1.39 efficiency, slightly towy, 10 mil tow, and 45 degrees of scent angle, that is stopping on any green. Um, it's definitely thumpy, the chromoly in it distinctly gives it a, I would say a bit more of an explosive punch, distinctly different to when you go into, like say the 9 iron and stuff with the 1025E, but um, yeah, this, very much so a little bit more uh, explosive off the face. Slow down, 86.4, going too fast. I will try when it comes to the full on normal test that you won't see on camera, because you want to see me hit 100 shots in a row. Slightly drawy, two from the inside, 0.3 closed. It's 29 yards in the air, 45 degrees descent angle, it's stopping at 168. Wow, 86 miles an hour. Yeah, so I will try and dial the speed down even lower, probably about I'd say mid to low 80s, if anything, to try and give people a better understanding of how this works. If you are swinging in and around that, again, I'd have to do 17 different videos at all 17 different speeds to keep everybody happy, but within reason, I'm just trying to dial it down a little bit. But this thing is punchy. It really, you get that forged feeling, but you have got that real thump off the face. It's just nice. 85.7, just dropped a mile an hour off, which is good, but that's still carrying. Look at that. What was that, 166 or something? Yeah, 166, good delivery. Slightly Healy strike, that's 10 mil heel. 1.36 efficiency. That's what these things are really good at, is when you don't hit the middle, they just go anyway. That's hitting target, one yard offline, 46 degrees of center angle again. That's stopping on any green, and that's 
not middle, by no stretch is that middle. Hit one more and then we'll flick over to the ZX5 Mark II, spinning well, 5.3. It'll be interesting to see the differences in launch and spin between these two. And again, I don't think you're going to notice it in such a small data set. On camera here, it would have to be possibly until I turn the camera off and whack them 50 times each. <laughs> yep. <laughs> to get a proper picture of how they work. But uh, last one with the Forge and then we'll go over to the Mark II. It's just good. It's just really thumpy. It's like too fast. <laughs> 87 miles an hour and a wheel. I'll, I'll, I'll dial speed right back for the full test. 1.37 efficiency, perfect face. Strike was better there. Four mil heel, uh, four mil low, uh, 45 degrees of center angle again at 169. That is going. Now, when I hit it at full speed, which is another five miles an hour fast, you're looking at it, it's going to be carrying the 176 to 179 dependent on strike and stuff so it's i mean they are properly getting out there these golf clubs they've got a low fail back cg considering obviously how big the golf club is they are surprisingly forgiving off the toe which i have noticed doing my normal review and also putting the 923 forged up against others at the same time so let's go get the zx5 flick over data sets and see how the zx5 mark ii compares up to the 923 forged. Data set now changed. We are at the same golf club, same hole, same distance. We just have the ZX5 Mark II. I will be doing full forgiveness testing on this. Um, again, we always like to see how they perform in the middle, absolutely. But let's face it, we don't hit it in the middle uh, every single time, especially we try to dial speed down. I don't hit it in the middle uh, hardly at all. It's actually a lot harder to dial your speed down than you think. But uh, if you look at dimensions and thicknesses and looks on this thing we have possibly i'm not quite sure which is going to be the cleanest looks at the back i mean you've got the zx5 mark ii has got all the angles on there with the mainframe and stuff but the 923 has got and uh, forge has got angles of its own but if you look at dimensions sole thickness blade lengths top lines all these different things top lines is fractionally smaller like 0.4 of a millimeter smaller sole thicknesses again i think has a millimeter in it Offset is about 0.1 of a mil. Yeah, don't get carried away on that one. And then blade lengths, there is about a millimeter or so in it. To be fair, if you put all of those together down by the golf ball, if anything, the ZX5 Mark II does look smaller. It looks the smaller of the two, which they should do, because it is. Right, let's go give it a hit and see how it feels. Both forged. Let's go see how they come off the face. Face release, Jay. You have to release the face. <laughs> 87 miles an hour, that was very healy. <laughs> that was very healy. 11 mil heel, 4 mil low. As you can see, the efficiency falls off when you have an open face and, and obviously hitting it at 15 mil off gross. Um, but it's carrying 163, which is not bad whatsoever, and descending at 48 degrees. So again, it's going to spin up. There you go, 5.5, 5,500. Well, because of the open face and strike. It's doing very, very well. These are forgiving. Both of these irons are forgiving. They're not blades. They're not necessarily for people that use a massive, yeah, all over the face. Again, you've got full on game improvement irons for those. These are the transition clubs for someone who wants to go from a ZX4 to say ZX5 to ZX7, that kind of transition and no different when it comes to 923. Forged, someone who's gone from hot metals that would ideally like to get into say the Mizuno Pro line, you can blend the 923 forged with a Mizuno Pro. So let's see if we can get the face closed this time, but um, a good result considering the strike. Yeah, that's overdone, mate. <laughs> it's overdone slightly. That's um. Yeah, me swinging slower. Better strike, slightly high, but the face, yeah, I'm just slightly, should we call it, closed. That's left, that's me, that's not the golf club. <laughs> Ignore that, but yeah, I can't really say much about that. And it's okay, 46 degrees ascent angle, even though the face is three shut, it's still uh, stopping well. If I hit the green, it would stop even better. But uh, 172, can't really count that, that's cheating, because when you shut the face, you close the loft down. Go give it another hit. Slightly Healy strike, better face control. Um, 
What's the speed? 86.1, I just saw it on quad there before it flicks over. But good delivery, just fractionally off on the strike. There you go again, same as though the, uh, the first one. So 12 mil heel, four mil low, very much so like the first uh, shot. Really good delivery though, path one degree from the inside, but the face is zero. 1.33 efficiency, so we're losing efficiency, but I'm not surprised from that strike. 1.33 is very, very good from what is 16 millimeters off the middle at descent angle 46.1 degrees. This is a really very, very well performing um, golf club. I'd like to hit this at my normal speed so I can get it like some proper consistency, but no, the masses would like me doing it at a slower speed. <laughs> so you'll have to put up with my delivery dynamics not being great. Save the best till last. Still slightly healy, still slightly quick. 86 miles an hour, but same as what I did with the um, JPX Forged, I guess. What's that one? Still slightly healy, seven mil heel, three mil low, uh, but really good delivery dynamics. 1.2 from the inside, 0.8 close, little tiny baby draw. If I hadn't have hit it on the heel, it would have drew, but it didn't, it just stayed dead straight. 31 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle, uh, descent angle at one, uh, 166, just good. You can't really say much about it other than it's just good. It is really, very, very forgiving. I mean, I've tested the forgiveness on the ZX-5 Mark II much more than I did on the 923 Forge, but considering it's doing very, very well. Right, let's go get the this off. Let's go on the range, whack it a load of times, 50 times each or so. We'll get a good solid number of average shots so we can see if there's a distinct difference between these where it comes to launch angles and flights and stuff like that. And then we'll do the forgiveness as well. I'd hit it all over the face. I could possibly capture some of the ones I've just hit there. Um, but yeah, we'll get an understanding of just how well this performs, all different speeds when it comes to doing all that side of things. But let's just do the averages at a lower speed so you guys who don't swing at normal 91, 92 like I do to see which one of these two, the X5 or the 923 Forge would work for you. Okay guys, to save this being a video marathon, I've decided to pop this one into two parts. For the guys that have just watched this, you can click by the side of me to get to part two. For the guys that can't see any boxes by the side of me because you're watching it on TV or something like that, you can go on my channel and it will be the next one on the video list. Let's go have a look at part two and see if there's a winner between the performance and the forgiveness.